As a young man, I grew up honoring all the work of Dr. King. I was raised by a single mother, a mother who all she wanted was the best for her child. And through that, I recognized growing up in South Los Angeles that there was a better way. And as a young man, I recognized that I had a calling, a calling of service, a calling of being a blessing to individuals throughout this city. And through that, it has allowed my activism and all my service to continue to be celebrated. And one of the greatest things that was ever given to me was when I was invited to speak and represent California at the 2013 commemoration of the March on Washington. I was able to stand before the nation and remind the nation that regardless of all the pain that our community was feeling, that there was a blessing in the below. From 1991 to today, we can say that our organization has grown. We have received support from our President of the United States, Obama. We have expanded our role at National Action Network to be probably one of the most prominent civil rights organizations of our generation today. Be it working with families who have lost their children, be it working with individuals around civil rights, topics such as the Clippers and Donald Sterling. We was able to lead a demonstration of thousands of people throughout this nation to go down to Staples Center and demand that he be replaced. And it did, and it happened, he was replaced. We've also led demonstrations when it comes to the Ezel Ford and many of the other issues, unsung Trayvon Martyrs in our communities. We have worked, we have organized, we have mobilized. We are National Action Network. Sometimes we're the only voices that really respond to the community and respond to the people. We have a heart for the people and therefore we are a service to the people. One of my fondest memories of Dr. Thomas Kilgore is when he and our supervisor, James Hahn, was able to walk and march down the streets of South Central Los Angeles. It was just something that was about him that brought a calmness amongst the people. And I'm so honored to receive this award in his name, recognizing the work that we're doing is shining bright like a diamond in the lives of individuals and families throughout our city.